So we are out here on the beta server and I got this boy jumping around over there. And I did not actually bring any colas or anything, so it has to be a shot on him somewhat trotting around. And I don't know what to really think about it. I don't like the way that he's constantly jumping around. I would really like him to stop and of course it does seem like he is stopping on the other side. Okay. And we should be good. That does look like a pretty solid. Oh wow, I can't even speak. A pretty solid quick kill. Was on that one. Need that for the consecutive reasons. Not sure if we are actually good. Oh, that was actually a nice one. It's the first level five spring bug I see. Kind of. Uh, it's a bit of a bummer. It's on the beta server. I don't know. Do the diamonds on the beta server really count, guys? I mean. In my opinion, of course they should, but I've just shot one, which actually looked pretty damn huge. Gotta go and harvest this one first. I'm actually on Flinter's server as well. We are testing out the um, Gemsbok. There we go. Consecutive harvest is not good, so we do need another animal before we go and harvest them. And then I think we should probably be looking at another diamond. But yeah, if you're not out and testing the Gemsbok so far, you are really missing out. I do really think this is one of the best decisions the Hunter Call of the Wild have made in a long time. Because we might actually now get somewhat proper released animals on the live servers. And I am really stoked about that because one of the big issues we've had for so long has been so many problems with animals when they actually went on the live servers. Get to that one. Quickly gonna go and harvest that and then we will go take a look at the spring bug. One of the other things that they have changed with this new um, beta test that we are allowed to do now, it's the inventory. Look how nice and clean this is. It is insane compared to what we used to have. I'm still not a big fan of that. You actually have to drag weapons from the menu over there and then go in and drag your ammo and the sights over. But I suppose at least getting to see what the different weapons and such are of classes and the ammo as well, it makes it a lot easier. And this one is actually pretty cool as well. It does say here which animals is affected by the colors. And yes, I know I'm using the wrong colors on this map, but yeah, I wanted the challenge or something. I saw it when I left the lodge and I was um, pretty much just going out for the Gemsbok. But yeah, then we had this guy creeping up on us and Flinter is trying to troll us. He know that I just had a pretty decent size Springbok. Where did we shoot this guy? He should be dead over here. We got a warning call from AK Buffalo not being happy with our presence right here. Pick him up. Oh, oh we will. There we go, consecutive is now good. Let's just get back to the spring bug. Let's just see if we can get a track. Oh, the track actually says 42 kilos. This is pretty much a guarantee it's gonna be a diamond and it might even be a huge one. The first level five spring bug I see and it says 42 kilos. Ooh. We know what this could possibly mean. It could be that perfect diamond animal that I have been wanting for so long. Not being a duck. Let's just take a quick look here. Hopefully I didn't mess anything up. 994. Still a big one. 42 kilos exactly. But only a 994 unfortunately. Let's continue and see if we can find some Gemsbok. We finally have found our first Gemsbok as well. It is a level 4 and it looks quite big, honestly. Um, can we go for spine? Does seem to work on them as well. But they look cool. I can only imagine how big a medium of those gotta be. Oh, got a 7 and a 3. Okay, buffalo running off down there. Don't really want to care too much about those. But this 
thing over here. I must say that I'm really happy it is these guys, because they do look amazing. And I know a lot of people probably wanted lions or zebras or something else like that, but um, of anything, getting another big deer species is pretty cool. Oh, it's only an 832. Wow. They do get a lot bigger than this then. Pretty damn nice looking one though. The first one we get to harvest, and it is a gold scoring one. Oh, look at the cash you get from those guys. 1400 nearly. We just found a whole herd of them here as well. They really do look amazing. It's so cool. Oh, that might be a big... It's a four. Three, very easy. Female? Oh... What? Just a three? It just looks so big compared to the other ones. They do look somewhat similar to the wildebeest, the way they're fleeing. I'm not really sure what to make of that. But the big... Uh, it's gotta be the biggest one then. Level 4, out on 200 meters. Should be doable. Go a little high. Should rub him. Dead. One thing that I'm not totally sure about is the way... They stand out so easily in this terrain. You can spot these boys very far away. I mean, it's probably the color and such they have in real life, at least I would imagine so. But it just seems to be very, very, very easy to spot them. Let's pick him up. I think he might actually be a tiny bit bigger than the other one. Looking at the, at the horns of this guy. It is actually pretty much the same. Oh, but another level 4. And yes, I got told by one of our subscribers that it is called a Gemsbok. I do think it's going to be too hard to keep saying like that. But I want to see if we can actually call it in. It should be right on the edge. But hopefully we can make him turn around. There we go. It does seem like they are coming back here now. If we can get to this little bush here, I think we should be good. So the antler rattler does seem to work on them, which is nice. Always nice to be able to call in the animals. Oh, it is coming in hot. Thank you. Let's see if we can get a proper shot at him from this distance. It should be somewhat simple, to be honest. Spine should be very easy to get from this angle, especially if he's going to stop. There we go. And down he goes. Let's spook something else. I think it was the other one of them. But yes, so far I'm really impressed. Especially with the way that they look. They look amazing, to be quite honest. I am very, very happy with the details on them. The horns look so giant. I've only seen fours, but I can only imagine a five has got to be like massive. So, so far, this has been a very great experience. I haven't even had that many bugs, even though we are on a beta server. Look at that. Oh, almost a gold as well. But with this guy in the picture, thank you guys so much for watching.